Ladies and gentlemen, gold is on the line. This is for the amateur, the vacant UK Fighting Championships flyweight title and is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. This bout is brought to you in association with Empire Grappling. Introducing first, in the blue corner, with a record of four wins against a single loss, representing Aspire. Make some noise for Luke Burns! And his opponent across the cage, with a record of six wins against a single loss, representing Ace MMA. Give it up for Shawan Chowdhury! Your referee in charge, Mr. Paul Crossley. Vacant UKSC, amateur flyweight title on the line. Blue corner, Luke Burns in the grey shorts. Red corner, Sharon Chowdhury in the green shorts. Title up for grabs, two guys, excellent young fighters with good records. A phenomenal amount of talent in this cage. Jay and Chowdhury, this is his bread and butter. Hells holds titles in other promotions, has a win over uh, Connor Walsh as well. A, w a fight which he was struggling with some of the grappling of Walsh and actually pulled out last minute, last round, the triangle which won him that title. But look at the body lock, Jay, how tight that is. Yeah, really strong. You see, Burns doing a great job keeping the wizard, using his uh, left arm when he can to lift up the chin or get inside the bicep, doing all the right things to. Uh, keep his man up and keep himself up on his feet. He's managed to get his back over the fence there, which is a coup for him. Chowdhury just sticking to him. When Burns turned his back over the fence there, just returned him, lots of forward pressure, driving his way in, he tipped him over. Nice work. Very strong. And Luke Burns coming off a loss, actually, against uh, Mohabila Safi. That's the first loss of his career, but given the opportunity to step in here, fairly short notice, and that wipes it all away. I mean, he's got the talent. We know that 100%. If he puts that belt around his waist, Jay, that is a, a phenomenal achievement at this age in his career. Absolutely. Once you start collecting them, he, uh, he gets a bit moreish. And you with a, a row of killers in your gym over at ABT, Jay, when you see that the talent, that the, just how well-rounded these athletes are now, the men, the women, I mean, Chowdhury is just 20 years of age. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be careful there, getting that snap down, looking up an anaconda potentially with Burns, but yeah, you know, they come through and they're coming through on a on a mixed diet of everything, they, you know, they come through the doors and they're striking, the wrestling, the grappling, you know, at, at this level now, the guys fighting for titles are amateur, they're always lethal in every area, you very rarely get somebody who's um, one-dimensional anymore. Oh, nice spinning attack there, Burns actually... A, a right hand there from uh, Shawan earlier on in that exchange. Yeah, he's looking confident out in the open though, isn't there? It's out four stands for him. Big looping overhand for Chowdhury. I'd like to see him Ooh. get in behind that jab to the body with the right hand. Especially on a taller guy, it's a good way to tee, tee up the right hand over the top, jab him to the body, get him to drop. Yeah, he's a quick tonight of uh, many of the taller fighter, that overhand right. Oof, straight kick up the middle there. Not quite connect, steps in with the left hand there, Jay. Wow, this round is absolutely flown by, what a pace. Yeah, Burns has done a good job after getting stuck up against the fence for the first portion. He's done a good job of uh, keeping Chowdhury off him, being long, fainting. Yeah, and that's allowed him to um, stay out in the open for most of the second part of the round. We see in the corner there a Chowdhury Sarge hack. I mean, what? And that's the other evolution in, uh, in mixed martial arts in this country and others. The generation that are now stepping up into coaching are the ones that have, have, have come through that golden era, that golden age of MMA when it was really catching fire. And they're passing their knowledge, their talents onto their fighters. Absolutely. And, you know, Chowdhury's fought recently, but most of the guys like that, uh, sort of the tail end of it, you know, Dean Garnett in the opposite corner was a beast of a fighter in his own right, and, you know, they've been there and done it, it's not guesswork anymore, yeah. that's why that's why these guys are getting better fast, because they're not making it up as they go along, the coaches aren't making it up as they go along, they've, they've been there, they've tasted it, and uh, they've been on the ground doing it.
Hence why the next generation are coming through so slick and so fast. Yeah, and two sets to get underway. Luke Burns, blue corner. Shawan Chowdhury, the beast boy. In the red corner. Both of these really see this title as a way of establishing themselves as the number one in this in this bracket, this division. There seems to be a little cut on the knee there of uh, Luke Burns. I'm not sure if when he dropped down, he's cut it or he's checked something that's uh, split open that knee a little. Yeah, it was, it was a check. Oh. Nice body lock check down there from Chowdhury. He's got what he wants. And with the arm underneath, Burns tries to turn away. He runs the risk of uh, getting his wrist controlled, but stiff arm him, trying to find his way out with the shrimp. Yeah, you've got over in the other corner, Phil Turner there. What an excellent BJJ martial artist he is as well, training and teaching the lower killers they've got over at Aspire. Yeah, Phil's been coaching Beach for years, even, even before Dean really got into coaching at his own place. Phil has uh, been around and teaching at Liverpool Valley Tudo. This Liverpool, he's... Um, they yeah, served his time and brought a lot of great fighters to the ranks. And we've got Shawan Chowdhury. You look at his record, 6-1, and one, very impressive indeed. Five of his six wins are by finish. All of those are by submission, Jake. He was able to get it to the mat with a pretty impressive takedown earlier on in this round. Can he do it again? And the third sword. You know, so much energy, doesn't move that much. Oh, that's low, that's low, oh, instantly. You saw straight away. Right up the middle, he will get five minutes should he need it. No intent there, Jay, was there. This is not a dirty fight and there's no bad blood between the two. Yeah, it just, just happens, right? Yeah, clinched, it just happens. Clinched up, chest to chest. You throw that knee. Unless you're uh, coming up and around, you know, a lot of the time, it's there's not many other places for it to go. Especially when your chest is so close, it's not going to get up and through to the body. It's just straight up the middle. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Cross the given in time, our referee. Yeah, that, you know, kind of thing burns for it first to try to get a warning but you know repeat offense is accidental or not you could see something come from that off we go again oh swinging for the fences yeah, Chad does look good when he puts his punch together in twos and threes the singles I worry about from uh, from far out Especially when you've got a guy who's got a reach advantage. Such good movement from both of these guys. Oh, head kick came up there. Chowdhury now charging to the cage. Great work again from Burns. Wizard, C grip inside the forearm, trying to prevent that body lock from getting tighter and pulling his hips in. Looks well versed, looks for high, oh, goes here, gets nice. it. Nice, gets it as well. Is he going to try and set up a dance now? Is he going to be happy to hold the position? A nice half Nelson and punch from there. Yeah, strong, strong work here from Luke Burns. Trying to build the base back up his Chowdhury. He's looking for a route to go to the back. What, what a fight, what a fight. And this one scheduled for five, five three-minute rounds. With everything tonight has been well matched. It's been a phenomenally matched card, but these two, yeah, really, there's really, not much to pick between them in terms of the skill set. So Luke Burns actually was training for another opponent, I believe. Then he got ill. He got staph infection. Recovered from that. Then this came up, but actually he, he was recovered. He was back in camp, and he said it couldn't have come at a better time. He's managed his body, he's managed his uh, uh, injuries, and now he's just had to focus on really sharpening those tools to bring him to the cage tonight. And he looks sharp, right, Jay? He looked really good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when he's getting driven to the fence, you know, there's no, 
There's no hesitation there. He's getting into the right spots. He's getting his overhooks. He's getting his position. When he gets taken down, he's building back up. Certainly looks sharp. Aldridge, uh, relentless in the pressure here. When he comes forward, he must, you know, packing a lot of strength into that frame because once he's, when he's driving his man to the fence, he doesn't want like getting shifted very easily. And exactly that on the way, round number three here. UK Fighting Championships 18, that head kick again came up from Burns. Oh, uppercut as well. Yeah, uppercut hook and Chowdhury firing back now. Up showing uh, a guy who's constantly shooting the uppercut as he comes in. Also makes him think twice about shooting for the legs. If he knows that there's a potential uppercut there waiting for him. So that's smart work from Burns. Oh, ducking down again, looking for that overhand right is Chowdhury. Yeah, and that'll be another opportunity that Burns will see to throw his uppercut. But Chowdhury, when he does throw, he just slings everything down that right hand. It's just a bit more that. Oh, time. there you go. I was just about to say, he needs to settle behind the jab. There he goes, pops the one-two. And it landed beautifully. Another right hand for Chowdhury comes behind it. <laughs> We've had two rounds down, Jay. And obviously, they're aware of each other. They, there's, there is plenty of footage of these two to watch. It's not like an amateur fight where it's uh, debut, debutants taking each other on. How much of the focus do you think will be on the opponent and the skill set? Yeah. I mean, amateur, you know, you're really going to be looking at refining your all round skill set. And you'll take a look, you'll have an idea of what you want to try and do. But you've really got to be focused on just improving yourself most of the time. You know, as opposed to doing a camp based on your opponent's skill sets. It's constant evolution, really. I'm sure these guys are doing that. Oh. Chavi charging into the cage now. Good work here from Shawan. Yeah, and he's keeping his head above Burns' head, really stopping him, uh, Burns from working his way back up, putting a physical barrier between him and working his way back up to the cage. And sitting into the half guard is going to help him keep his hips there as well. Burns would most likely go to the left side and plant on the left knee, so Chadwick can keep that block from the half guard. And uh, he's looking to try and yeah, pass he's trying that to free that. Like I wouldn't be too much, I mean, I'd be quite happy to sit on that leg and prevent the get-up sometimes. That half-guard, oh, and look at the sweep going deep under there. Yeah, deep half-guard. Could potentially come out of the back door or sweep under that Chowdhury's right leg. Chowdhury's base is strong. Oh, back of the head there, back of the head. Firm warning there from our referee, Paul Crossley. Setting up that Kimura lock on that left arm there is Chowdhury. Oh, dropping and rolling. He's landed on a good position. Now can he step over? Now he's got that head between his leg there. Jay, what's the key to finishing this now? Yeah, well, I think... Oh! Out of time. I think Burns had it hidden behind his own leg. It would have been a case of trying to get it from behind his own knee, which that's a solid position to try and hold from there. Another good round. It's just absolute non-stop. But, guys, young guys, flyweights, well, that's what you're going to expect. Yeah, that's that's the thing, and that's why we enjoy this weight class so much. Felt like in the ascendancy was Chowdhury, though. Got the takedown, got that top position. Just letting the strikes go as well. He, I think he's felt some of Burns' power. And what are the adjustments you're looking now? You see, we're looking at the corner, Dean Gunnett and Phil Turner just speaking to their fighter. What would you be saying there, Jay? What, what, what would you take away from that third round as we move now into the championship rounds? Yeah, well, I think... The way this has gone and they've been closed round, I think at this point it's got to be, you can't give anybody a false sense of security there, whether you think they've won a round or two, you've just got to be saying the next two rounds are crucial. For Burns, I think it's going to be, the more he stands there and waits in the pocket for Chowder to exchange with him, Chowder's picks it up, he's throwing single shots, not putting the takedown behind it, and then coming in with takedown. Yeah. Every time Chowder hits him, he needs to be moving off, he needs to be stepping off at an angle. Not moving back in straight lines. And Sterling not walking his back that close to the fence because yeah. once, once Child receives is a step away, he's going to drive it. Oh, that's a low there. kick. That is a low yeah. kick as well. Oof. And Burns is walking onto that one as well. Bit of a double impact. Yeah. It's 
straight up the middle that was. Again, unintentional. They were just both stepping into that space. But interestingly, Paul Crossley talked to, at, at the end of the round, sorry, beginning of this round, made a, a, a move and actually talked to Chowdhury about the back of the head picking his strikes. Yeah, and if it's been a stern talk for one illegal strike, the second one, he... Um it might not be another warning. Exactly, that's, no, that's it. It wouldn't, it. it wouldn't be a shame if something like that came into play. Yeah, and it, you know, the intention doesn't matter. I'm sure he didn't intend to hit him in the back of the head, nor yeah. did he intend to kick him up the middle. But you've got to be, uh, you're the one that's in control of these strikes. These things can make a difference. Five round fight when it's close, you know, a point could uh, really be crucial. So Chowder's going to have to be very careful from this point. Uh, referee Paul Costa just talking to Luke Burns. He has got time. <laughs> Final warning there. We saw that directed at Chowdhury. Nice right hand there from Burns down the middle. Right, you can see shades of. Oh. Uh, you can see shades of his. Uh, and his coach shoves there as yeah. he takes them little steps for the movement, cutting off the angle. I mean, he then loads up on the big shots, which you don't really see Shabs do, but I'm sure we'll see him um, build more into that sort of Dominic Cruz's style. And this position again, he's, he's very technical, very strong from this, this spot. And for a flyweight with a nickname Beast Boy, it's quite understandable. I, re I reckon he must feel like the Incredible Hulk when you're rolling with him. Team Titans? Team Titans. That's it is. <laughs> He's born. Yeah, I've got kids. I'm not watching it <laughs> It's funny, though. Yeah, solid work from Chowdhury. It definitely does look strong. Good head position, in on the jaw, strong with the underhook, and then he's got that free arm there to start landing some shots. And Burns is not particularly doing anything wrong, you know, but he's oh, just got nice. out muscle. Nice take down there from the body lock, and again in this half guard position. It is a nice spot in, in, in this, like we saw him look to pass to mount earlier on in the uh, the third round. But this is a good control spot, so you can pin your opponent but still cause damage, right? Yeah, it's that right leg of Burns that would be the threat for him to get on, up onto that knee and then build up from there. From the half guard, you can keep that control between your legs. So, is he sliding up for an arm triangle oh. on that far side? Burns wary of it. But yeah, that's uh, one of the benefits of that half guard position, keeping the control of that knee. But because of the um, the head and arm position that Chowdhury's got, Burns doesn't want to walk, move towards that side. If he does, he's eventually opening himself up. Clock is ticking away now yeah. as well for Luke Burns. Arm under the leg as well yeah. now. Good shots landing here for Chowdhury. And a great spell of domin uh, dominance. He's going to slide out when they get to the back. Uh, Burns did a good job of just keeping a last minute ditch control of that leg. Well, Burns kept that, but you look at the, the right arm of Chowdhury. He was controlling that right arm. Had that grip on the wrist on the far side. Yeah. And just an impressive finish to that. The big takedown again, Jay. Then a minute in top control and then finishing strong. Nice kick on the break. He knew the time was coming. Broke off, landed the final shot. That's a great round for Chowdhury there. Dominance in the fourth round. Fourth round, a very happy corner coming in. Noddy looking at their fight to Shaman. Moving into this fifth and final round here at UK Fighting Championships 18. This is for the vacant. Amateur flyweight title, Jay. Yeah, I mean, I have been keeping it. I haven't been keeping a tab of the scores. And my gut feeling, especially, is that Chowd is in the ascendancy. Yeah. That was probably the strongest round any of them have had up to this point. And uh, he's looking good, looking fresh in the corner. But as I said, I've not been keeping track. Apart from round four, Chowd, other than that. Yeah. <laughs> But the momentum certainly does feel like it's shifted on the side of Chowdhury. Can Luke Burns dig deep? Pull out a huge round here, fifth and final round for this vacant flyweight title. Uh, 
checks the kick. I feel like at this point, Burns probably feels like he's going to need to do something significant. Oh, body shot was kicked right across the uh, the chest there with the right leg of Chowdhury. Nice left hook from Chowdhury. Burns has done that well when Chowdhury's committed to the body and chopping his right hand over the top. It's been a good shot for him, but I'd like to see him lead a bit more now. I think he needs to land some more shots. He's kind of waiting and countering, which is OK at the start of the fight, and if that's how you get the measure of the man, but you're in the fifth round and you need him to make a big impact, I think he's got a lead. And the, the output on Chowdhury is phenomenal as well, that the pace he's kept. We don't have it, the, the luxury of a, a punch strike or a count strike. But you can just see he's still throwing one, two, three shot combinations. Yeah, it's a nice left hook that you see Burns is really big trying to time that right uppercut. The charger that came out of the, the best out of the exchange with his left hook. And drives his man to the fence again at all too familiar position for Luke Burns at this point. Chowdhury loves this spot, that underhook on the far side, making it miserable by burying his forehead under the chin into the uh, chest of his opponent. Now Luke Burns has given up his back. Yeah, once he's lost that wizard, he's given up his back. Chowdhury trying to ride him there. He's got the figure oh, four, that's, what he's, uh, that's why he gave it up, I think. Yeah, he's got that Kimura grip, he's trying to drop and roll. Chowdhury's got control of his upper arm, which is building a bit of security in for himself. So he's not just going to get ripped down, ripped out there. There's a battle of legs going on there as well, Jay. You can see Chowdhury's left leg going in and under. What, what's, what's the deal there? What's he trying to stop? They yeah. drop the roll. Yeah, and he's really going to try and prevent Burns from turning into him with that leg. So it stops Burns from turning to his right and turning into that Kimura grip. Opted to come out to the other side this time. Burns oh, goes there you go. The reactions of Chowdhury to take the back now. Yeah, and I think the, the arm's not free, but it's not in much danger anymore. And Look now at how he free. powers and muscles him across there. Burns trying to build back up. You're going to get him in a crucifix. And Burns might end up on top. Oh, a little mistake there from Shawan Chowdhury. Burns has to go Hail Mary for something here. Ten Final seconds ten left. seconds, wow. I think he's got a punch rather than take the back, but up in the mount, two big shots. Well, look, testament to Luke Burns and his fortitude right to the end to turn it around, get that top position. That says everything you need to know about that young man's mentality. Yeah, brilliant fight, that one, all five rounds, we're all action. And can Shao and Chowdhury claim yet another title? He did say, when I asked him what this would mean to him if he were to claim, he said it would mean as much as any other title I've won, as much as the first title I ever won, because it's another tick in the box that shows that I'm on the right path, that I'm where I'm supposed to be. We will find out after three, five, five three-minute rounds who is our new... And ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it up for these athletes and a round of applause for both of them. After five three-minute rounds, this goes to the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. Your winner and new flyweight champion in the red corner, Shawan Chowdhury! An epic five-round of that one. Ultimately, I think Chowdhury did enough to deserve that great performance from the ace of the man.